happy to inform that to the Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture at its 14th session endorsed the gene bank standards for plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. It is a document that has been produced for the very first time. It is a set of standards which are voluntary in nature, therefore non-binding. However, they are something that all gene banks should aspire to, essentially maintain the genetic integrity, health and viability of the germplasm that they hold. It will help also everyone that are uh, involved with gene bank standards, uh, managers, the ones that are in the field, and um, it would be important for the Commission also to monitor our dose, uh, how they are uh, implemented. We will see in the future how these standards will help to bring a better um, conservation of genetic resources for food and agriculture. Globally, there are currently over 1,750 individual gene banks, all of which focus on the conservation of plant diversity, crop diversity, essential for our food security. The gene bank standards for plant genetic resources for food and agriculture contribute to this through providing guidance for the effective management and conservation of plants. The standards are aimed at gene bank curators, breeders, plant scientists and national programs. These standards were first developed in 1994 to respond to the need for appropriate standards for international ex situ conservation. They focus solely on the storage of seeds of orthodox species, those that are easy to store as they can withstand low temperatures and low moisture levels. The updated revised standards covers the conservation of orthodox seeds, recalcitrant seeds and clonally propagated planting materials as well as tropical fruit trees. The International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture was one of the key partners in developing the gene bank standards. The gene bank standards are particularly important for the sustainable use of plant genetic resources where we are working particularly closely with the seed team in FAO uh, in order to enhance the sustainable use of plant genetic resources and together with them we from the international treaty and the seed team in FAO have developed the uh, gene bank standards and they will assist significantly for enhancing the sustainable use of plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. Bioversity International was a major contributor to the development of the gene bank standards. People want to know what is the best practice and also even funding agencies want to know that the support they are giving uh, to a gene bank for its conservation for efforts, for example, are according, done according to uh, the best practices. And this is what these technical guidelines are providing. At the 14th regular session, we asked the delegates what, according to them, was the value and impact of the gene bank standards. We believe that standards are necessary for the collections. Um, these standards allow us to develop protocols not only to facilitate the collection uh, of the, uh, the germplasm, but also for uh, characterization of those particular uh, accessions. The standards can be used also to help others in developing their own uh, gene banks. Especially for a fragile ecosystem like uh, the Pacific, where we are losing a lot of our traditional varieties. So it is important that uh, the gene bank sort of collects all these traditional varieties so that we can share in terms of uh, research and food security. C'est une initiative très importante pour les, les pays. Et bien sûr que ces normes est un outil de travail très important, aussi bien pour les, les semences orthodoxes for the semences recalcitrant. A lot of crops from Brazil, native from Brazil, they, we, they are not orthodox species, and uh, for those we conserve them uh, in field, some of them in field conditions. So the, the gene bank standards covering field gene banks are also very useful for us. Agradecemos muchísimo que 
estas eh, o sea, estas líneas de trabajo, estas guías para el desarrollo de los bancos de germoplasma se hayan elaborado y aprobado por la FAO, porque van a ser de una gran utilidad en nuestro país para formar el personal necesario para el desarrollo de los bancos de germoplasma. They are very important because we need to maintain quality of seeds at a, at, at a level that is acceptable. We need to also to do to be able to do characterization in the field, evaluation and the regeneration of materials in the field. So you have to have some sort of standard process that all gym banks can uh, can can adhere to in order to make sure that materials are being regenerated while they are also maintaining their genetic integrity, while they are also of use for others, uh, that uh, they can make sure that these, these have been uh, maintained in, in, in proper man manner. Et en fait, euh, l'adoption de ce nouveau document euh, avec les nouvelles techniques euh, euh, en détail telles qu'elles sont présentées nous apporte énormément euh, au, sur le plan national, euh, surtout sur les approches techniques abordées pour collecter le matériel végétal, le conserver, euh, les tentatives de régénération, euh, les tests qualitatifs, euh, euh, comment distribuer et diffuser ce matériel végétal euh, auprès des demandeurs dans la région ou ailleurs. C'était un outil fondamental, un outil très sérieux qui va permettre à toutes les banques de jeunes de mieux gérer, n'est-ce pas, les associations qui sont dans leur banque de jeunes. I would consider that this is the major tool for our my gym bank and also for other collections that uh, are uh, within the program, field collection, in vitro collection, cryopreservation, that uh, will draw very important uh, and valuable uh, information how to manage, how to preserve, how to evaluate, how to assess, how to collect genetic resources. And I think that these measures will help the country هي مقاييس مهمة لأنها بتساعد البلدان النامية على إيجاد السبل الخاصة للمحافظة وحفاظ وحفظ هذه الموارد الوطنية الموارد الوراثية الوطنية لأمد بعيد وللأجيال القادمة وهذا بدوره طبعا سوف يحتاج إلى رفع القدرات التكنولوجية والبشرية لهذه الدول وخصوصا الدول النامية valuable for our communities, um, especially the, the local farmers, to know that the material that we collect from them are being held safe. And also for the researchers when there are requests or for access to these the germplasm that is held in the gene bank, that they um, obviously have the better germination potential and um, that um, we can keep it for, for many years to come. One thing I want to add, uh, maybe there uh, would be a need for capacity building and training and raising awareness about uh, these uh, standards uh, among, you know, the gym banks, staff and personnel uh, and so on. The developing countries are very rich in biological diversity. So I think uh, the utilization of genetic resources, such standard is uh, quite useful for their uh, further developing the sustainable use of genetic resources. So uh, I hope it will be a very uh, good tool uh, for the future uh, food security and uh, health, healthy life of the people of the world. Now with the availability of new international gene standards, I'm sure we'll be able to upgrade our own standards you know, in maintenance of our all conservation of the germplasm, not only in the National Seed Gene Bank, also in our you know, cryo tanks or also in our in vitro cultures.
gene bank standards just adopted here is quite, uh, quite important. It's a tool for us in order to keep high quality in the collections, in order to keep uh, a format of exchange with other gene banks in the world. And that is crucial for the uh, development of agriculture in our region. None of the gene bank in the world possesses enough um, diversity to sustain their own agriculture. We all depend on each other. And this is one tool, one very important tool in making sure that this exchange can happen. And ultimately, this is the, the, the base for the global food security. So it's quite an important uh, development. Another key partner in developing the gene bank standards was the Global Crop Diversity Trust. Having these new um, agreed gene bank standards brought up to date from the, from the, from the last version is uh, an extremely important resource to have uh, in uh, providing a baseline against which to uh, measure the, uh, the performance and the uh, achievements and progress of, uh, of the international gene banks. We need donors to provide the necessary resources for developing capacity for implementing the standards, especially in developing countries. It is vital that we conserve plant genetic diversity, that this diversity is accessible and available to breeders and researchers, and that we continue to provide guidance into the future.